Hey everybody, I'm back to do my July 2015 beauty favorites and I have them right here in front of me so I'm just gonna jump right in. All right, so the first thing I've been loving for the past couple months anyways are cream blushes and I'm not sure if I mentioned this last month or if I did pick up both of these this month but um, these are the cream blushes from Flower Beauty. That's what it looks like there. I bought one and then I loved it so much that I went back and bought a second color because so they're just fabulous. This is the color... Primrose and Proper, and that's what I have on my cheeks right now, and that's what it looks like there. I just use a stippling brush, as you can see, to apply it, um, but these just blend out gorgeously. The colors are beautiful, and I just like the effect on my cheeks. I feel like it's looking quite vibrant there. It's not that vibrant on my cheeks, but I just feel like it seeps right into my skin and just makes it look more skin-like and more dewy, and I just like the way it applies. The other color I got from Flower Beauty is Forget Me Not, and this is the first one that I bought. It's a little bit paler, so I'll put them side by side. They look quite similar, but there is a big difference on the cheeks. Um, this one I think will be better when I have a paler skin tone swatch it side by side yeah you can see a big difference there but they're just gorgeous and they're pretty inexpensive I believe I got them at Walmart yeah I think that's where Flower Beauty is sold but I want to go back and get more colors because I love them so that's definitely my first favorite my next favorite is also on the cheeks and it's highlighter I don't know why I've wanted to be extra glowy in the month of July like I'm not already it's hot out so my skin naturally gets glowy but I've just been really liking cheekbone highlights I don't I don't know I'm just going for it this is my favorite right now it's the Mary Luminizer from the Balm so that's what it looks like there and it's like a champagne gold type highlight a little seriously goes a really long way because this stuff is potent <laughs> there it is there but it catches the light as you can see like none other I just use a fan brush and put a very little bit on the tops of my cheekbones sometimes down my nose or on my cupid's bow um, sometimes even under the brow of my uh, under the brow yeah under the brow of my brow I suppose so yeah, I don't know, I've just been loving highlighter, so that's been my favorite. The next thing is an under eye concealer. I think I've spoken about this in the past. It's it's lasted me forever, it's a sample, and it's from It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So it looks like there. It's very similar to the MAC Pro Longwear in coverage and the fact that it doesn't crease. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's a little bit thicker in consistency than MAC Pro Longwear, but I like it right now because it's a darker color. This is neutral medium, so when I have a tan, it's not like I have that stark white underneath my eyes. So my MAC Pro Longwear is in lighter shades. So I'll use that when winter comes, but this is fabulous. All right, more makeup products. Lip products. I rediscovered these. I actually had them in my purse, and then when I had my baby, I put my purse to the side and started carrying a diaper bag, and I just put in, like, put in, I just put one or two lip products in my diaper bag and then kind of forgot about everything else that was in my purse. And so I came across this, and I re fell in love with it. It's from Bite Beauty. The color is Syrah. I believe I spoke about this lots last summer. Or maybe I bought it when I went to Mexico how pretty that color is it just twirls up like that and it's very um, like it's a very potent color that's the word I'm looking for it's very opaque that's the word I'm looking for you can sheer it out though but it's such a beautiful summer color I'm wearing it on my lips right now I love it by beauty if you um, it's all food grade ingredients if you end up consuming it it's no big deal on top of that I have an old favorite this is the Maybelline what are these called? I forget. Anyways, this, oh, the Elixir Glosses. And this one is in Nude Illusion. That's what it looks like there. This gloss, just, it's gorgeous. It goes with everything. You can put it on top of anything, or you can wear it on its own, because for a nude lip gloss, it's actually quite opaque. It's got quite a bit of its own color. But just kind of toned down that, that color on my lips, so loving that all right last two products first one is a sample i mean this this was a pretty big sample i've used it a lot so i have a good opinion this one only had two uses in it and i feel weird about putting it in a favorites but it's so good this is a eye cream from bobby brown it's the extra eye repair cream um this is a sample i got with a nordstrom order 
and I've heard I'd already heard really good things about this eye cream this stuff is dangerous it is so thick and so hydrating and just sinks into your skin and it's one of those products where you can actually see a difference like upon the first use so love hate with this love the product but I don't want to spend that much on an eye cream so I don't know maybe as I get older and I really really want to invest in a good one this is one that I'm gonna go for for sure if I get a gift card or something it's it's amazing it's a favorite I wish I owned the full version the last product is from Alba Botanica one of my favorite companies this is the Hawaiian facial scrub in pore purifying pineapple enzyme and that's what it looks like there just put it in my shower you guys know I love this brand this stuff smells amazing leaves my skin so soft it's not the grit is not as much as the st. Ives or the one from the body shop I forget what that's called but it's still enough grit and it leaves my skin feeling very soft and very smooth and I like the ingredients and it smells delicious so it's a win funny story about about this actually well not funny interesting story I guess when this came in my Vitacost order the cap as you can see, it was totally almost broken, and some of this had leaked out onto the other products in my order. So I went ahead to let them know about it. And Vitacost is amazing. It's just an online form. You just it brings up your order and you click any of the products in your order, and then you just tell them what was wrong with it, and they say, Do you want a refund or do you want a replacement? I was like, that was easy. I didn't have to talk to anybody, I didn't have to show them a picture or anything like that. I just clicked that it exploded on everything and I'd like a replacement, and they sent me another one. So this one's I mean, I probably lost about a quarter of the product in the mail, but now I have a whole new one for free. So way to go, Vitacost. That's amazing. But yeah, those are my favorites for July 2015. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.